Morning, Dad. It's Saturday morning. Out here doing some final fitting on this floor. Looks everything looks okay. And basically I've got I've been sort of sort of clamping things up. You can see everything sort of fits really nicely along here. It's low here, and I can see you can see some of those where those drilled out spot welds. Uh, so I'm still trying to get some final adjustments to make sure where that all needs to be. Uh, the driver's side is all good. That one seems to line up a little bit better. The one thing about this floor that I got from Rimmer Brothers, the flange on it is just a little, uh, a little more narrow than the original. So that's part of the problem with lining up the old, uh, where I've drilled out spot welds. <clears throat> When I get everything all lined up, you can see that it, uh, it's just it's a little bit proud on, on this end over here. And so that's a fairly easy fix, it's just a slight bend of that, and uh, that will work out all okay. I was making sure that it was the other sections of this floor that, that fit better. You can see I've I shimmed the body uh, so that it's, it's level across here. This is my reference point here, whether it's actually straight or not is another story, but that's what I'm using as my reference. And so you can see when I've got the floor in and leveled that way that that looks okay. So that's, I think gives me my best shot of actually putting all this in square uh, as at least starting with a level, level playing field. Uh, so um, today uh, my plan is to bend this, bend this down so that this fits just right. Then I'll drill some holes and put some uh, Clecos in there. And um, basically I'll go in, I'll lift the car up, and then I'll go in and start to make sure that everything looks okay. I'll wear the wire, the, the wheel tub fits underneath it. And then I'll, I'll sort of Cleco in um, the positioning for that uh, underneath so that it's now fastened and everything looks good. And if everything looks, looks okay at that point, then I will um, go ahead and leave and um, and start to fasten things up, at least clamp it all in and uh, have a place where this is supposed to sit. Uh, I will, I'll finish all the welding on, on these, these two end pieces along here and along in here uh, as, uh, cause those, I just wanted to make sure that the floor was all squared up before, before I, I, um, I, I uh, lock those in. So I'll do those in, those flanges uh, next, and then um, start to lock things down. I'll get under the car and uh, make sure that the wheel tub fits just fine. So I've got it as far back as it goes in the back there, all the way to the back here. I've got a clamp there so that, because it, it protrudes out the back um, and, and it is welded across to make the upper the, the upper groove of the wheels, the spare tire um, opening. So I've got that set and everything else seemed to line up really nicely. So um, I'm pretty happy with where it is now. I'll just do a little bit of bending here, a little bit of trimming in this front part, and I think I'll be in good shape. So hopefully I'll, uh, when I come back to you, I'll have a lot of that stuff done. All right, talk to you later, bye. Hello, Dad. I've been talking a little bit about these things called Clecos. This is a Cleco. It's a blind fastener. And basically, it's just got a just a, a little wrench that that uh, activates it. Essentially, if you take a look there and on the end, you, you when you pull on this thing, it just sort of levers this back and it lets this uh, creates a little an opening there for um, the piece to go in. You drill in an eighth inch a hole and then slide it in and then let it go. And it pulls it in and then sucks the panels together. So this is a way of holding two panels together when you can't get a, a set of grips on it or uh, pliers or anything like that. So here, I just, um, just drill the hole. Yeah, it doesn't go in now, but if you pull it in and activate it all the way, you can get it to go in and then it, it sucks it back. You can see how this is um, now pulls it in and pulls those two two panels together. So that, that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna use these to um, 
to locate my my um, my wheel tub. So I got my wheel tub up here. You can see my floor is in. looks looks pretty good. I've got my um, tub sort of situated and sort of propped up so that it actually fits nicely. So now I'll just go in here and I'll sort of drill some eighth inch holes all along here and then I'll put the cleat goes in and then that will fasten fasten the um, the tub the tub to um, well I guess the, the spare tire canister to the bottom of the floor those holes go go all the way through so when I uh, re take off the tub which is the next thing that I'll do I'll be able to put it back into the same place because those those um, those guide uh, holes will just allow me to put the tub in, Clico it all back in, and it'll fasten it into the to the floor where it was originally, and then I'll be able to 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 um, to weld it into. Then I'll be able to weld it back into this opening all the way along here. Uh, so this, I think this is gonna do the trick to sort of get me back to where I need to be to have this this tub opening and um, uh, located where where it needs to be. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I, th I think this is gonna do the trick. So I think I should be able to get this spare tire located and then removed today. And then I can start work on on the repairs of it and um, make my make some forward progress. Once it's all finished and done, then the idea is to weld it back into the opening. I guess it's the, just the U is, is welded. Once it's there, then that will locate, keep the surround located all the way around. And then once that's located, then I'll be able to go ahead and remove the rest of the rear the rear, uh, ap rear apron and uh, go in and put in the repair piece. And then the surround will be in the right place. The tub will be in the right place. The, nothing else should be, every, the floor should be squared and everything else. So <laughs> that's the theory. We'll see if it all works out. But uh, I wanted to give you an update because the next time I should have these this clique coat in and then I'll start drilling out the last bits of stop spot wells that are out here and that tub will come out talk to you later bye you did there you go you can see i got them mounted alongside there up inside here i probably used a half a dozen or maybe eight of them all the way around to hold the tub up holds it up pretty well so now i'm going to uh, drill out the spot wells and get it off all right dad there you go Gave me a little bit of fight to get out, but in the end, all, all okay. Uh, next things for me are to, oh, I'll spend another week or two, I'm sure, on this thing, getting it ready to go back in. And there's a big patch panel I need to weld in, but before I need to do that, I need to take that panel, which I have made, and it's sitting under the car, put in a couple of ribs, and so I'll use my bead roller for that figure out how to do that best. Uh, this one will have a continuation. And um, there's another piece here that I'll need. And I may need another piece over there. We'll see. Uh, the flange looks like it's in decent shape. Uh, this side panel needs to be replaced and welded in. I haven't decided if I'm going to just use these as, as uh, rosette weld starting points. Uh, and so in any case, this is sort of what I'll be spending my time on for the next, oh, it'll be a little while, I'm sure. Yeah, it always takes twice as long as I think it should. But um, all in all, everything is looking okay. And, uh, and uh, yeah, another piece of progress. <laughs> it's backwards progress, but um, all in the one, two, one step back, two step forward kind of idea. So here we go. Underneath the car looks almost naked now. Underneath there it has nothing. Yeah, it's all all that empty space. All right. So, anyways, hope you're doing okay. And uh, I will. I'm not sure if I'll 
update more for today. I may do some updating tomorrow. Yeah, but for now, I just wanted to give you let you know that uh, this next piece is, is done. You can see over here on, the, on this closing panel. You know, again, lots of surface, a lot of sandwich rust inside there. So it's the right, right thing to get that apart and cleaned out. This is actually in pretty decent shape, which is surprising given how poor, poor the backs of this lower piece is. But uh, so I'll, uh, I'll uh, keep working at that. All right, Dad, you take care. Bye now. Hello, Dad, Sunday afternoon. Just starting to wrap things up, cleaned up in here. I just wanted to bring you up to speed on where I'm at. Been working on this, started working on this spare tire tub and uh, needed to replace this rusted out section there on it where it hooks, where it uh, connects to the, the frame. Uh, that body support, I mean, that was a well, well fit panel. Everything looked, was perfect. I tried some TIG on it and oh my goodness, it's, that thing is so sensitive. It just burns like crazy. So either a combination of my TIG skills being rusty and, and or non-existent and, uh, and this thin sheet metal. I actually hadn't thought it was going to be so bad. It looked Makes me worry about all this rest of this uh, <laughs> that I have to do. But uh, anyways, that's the way it is. So at least part of it's okay. I just have some holes to fill now. And I'll probably just use the uh, MIG welder for that after I get it all cleaned up. I haven't done any dressing there at all. So, you know, what's done is going to look okay. But uh, anyways. So lots to work to do on this. I'll probably, uh, like I said before, I'll probably spend... A good amount of time getting this all sorted out but anyways this is the end of the weekend and i thought i'd give you an update love you take care and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye bye